So Terry again with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. Here with Buff. I'm gonna start some muzzle conditioning. And for those of you that don't know, um, muzzle conditioning is just a protocol that we use to teach a dog to wear a muzzle comfortably, okay? Um, and, you know, for him, because his reactivity is so extreme, I just want to be on the safe side in case he decides to redirect. I don't obviously want him redirecting on me. So if we've got a muzzle on, much better. Also, for initially when he goes home, um, you know, just to help his, his owner relax a little bit too, knowing that, you know, he can't bite someone or not that he has, he hasn't bitten anybody yet, but you know, there's always that chance. So, so I'm starting with a muzzle. This is a Baskerville muzzle. This is for him. This is a size three. And um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, literally, he just got here today. So I'm going to cut my hand over the, or put the muzzle in my hand. I've got some food in my hand and he's gonna reach in there to get the food, yes. And I'm gonna mark it with yes. Yes is just a marker word that we use that means, you know, you did something right, here comes some food. So as soon as he pokes his nose in there, I'm gonna mark it with yes. Yes, and as you can see, I'm just presenting the muzzle. He's putting his nose in there. I'm not trying to put it on him. And that's what I want, is I want him to learn to put his nose in the muzzle. Yes. Okay, so we'll just do this over and over and over. Yes. And they don't all, you know, put their noses in there that quickly. Some, it takes a little bit. Some it might take until the next day, until they've built up a little more food drive. Yes, that's okay. You just take your time, right? But this is how he's gonna be earning his food uh, through this muzzle conditioning for the next day or so. Um, as well as, you know, yes, doing some training. But mostly this is how he's gonna get it. There's not gonna be any food going in a bowl, in other words, to him. We do. Food training, that means they earn, yes, good boy. Um, they earn their food by doing the training. So, if they don't take the food, yes, while they're training, um, we can still use the leash and collar and use, you know, leash guidance, but they, there's still no food in the bowl. So what happens is, if they reject the food, yes, then they miss out on that food for that day. But the next day they're a little hungrier, hungrier, and eventually they start taking the food. So food is a great motivator to use when you're training. Yes, good. And it becomes more valuable when you use it this way also, as opposed to just putting it in a bowl. Yes, good bowl. So lots of repetition, yes, good boy. And if you've seen our other muzzle conditioning videos, you know, the actual how-to, um, yes. You know, we do this over and over and over, progress through different stages, so. Yes, so I'm, you know, moving it a little further away from him and making him come and get it. I want him to really want this thing, right? Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's good. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. So that time there was no food in the muzzle. Yes. Good boy, he gets it. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Thank you. 
thinking now. So anyway, I'm going to continue this and, um, you know, like I said, get him conditioned to this muzzle so that we can really start to work with him without any fear of him exploding onto us or otherwise redirecting. So anyway, if you have questions about this or Buff or his training, um, feel free to reach out either info at gooddogcoaching.com or, you know, you can always post in the comment section as well. All right, take care. Bye.